Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Chatterbox. I've found a very funny story about a grandma who climbed a tree. Oh, good on I like climbing trees too. <laughs> well, me too. But she wouldn't come down. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's a great story. But why wouldn't she come down? Well, you'll have to wait till later on. Another thing that's happening today is that Daniel and Karen are coming in to make something. But I don't know what to make. You could make dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Right. <laughs> well, we've got lots of books with lots of great ideas about things to make. We could have a look at one later on. Great. Are there any apples here at the library? Uh, there might be. Why are you hungry? No, but the ponies at the pony club might be. Oh, right. Well, ponies love apples, don't they? And so do I. And I also love ponies. Have you ever ridden on a pony? Well, I have actually. I've had a little ride on have a you? pony. Have you put a bit? Yes, I have. It's you know, quite fun, but um, you have to have a tough kumu, a tough bottom, a bit <laughs> bouncing up and down. <laughs> you do bounce up and down when you're on a pony, don't you? Ah, a bit like in our song. Now, why at the bouncing up and down in a little red wagon? Oh, yes. What a good way to start off the day. Shall we? A bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. A bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. A bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Now about riding on our ponies. See me riding on my pony. See me riding on my pony. See me riding on my pony. Won't you be my darling? Now let's go from side to side. Are you ready? Oops, we're going from side to side. Oops, we're going from side to side. Oops, we're going from side to side. Won't you be my darling? Well, that was a fun song to sing. It was, wasn't it? It was great. Well, partners, I'd better saddle on up and ride out of here. As soon as I find some apples. Oh, really? Here, apple, here, apple. They're in the kitchen, thingy. Good Have luck a look there. Here we are. We've got lots of letters today. Oh, Let's have a look at some of them. What's that there? What's this one? Oh, it's a lovely picture. And this is from Anna Wicken, who lives in Hastings. She's drawn a beautiful picture with some crayons for us. See, look along the bottom here. There's a picture of some flowers growing in the oh, grass. Putsy putsy. And all along the side here, there are some little love hearts. See, they go right up to the top. You know, I think Anna might like picking flowers, because look over here. Here's some flowers that are in a vase. And some hearts up here too. Well, perhaps she likes picking flowers in the garden and bringing them inside. Mm. Isn't that lovely? Thank you for sending that in, Anna. It's a beautiful picture. Is there That's another one in there? Thing. I've got some more. Wow, great. Okay. Might be from you. Oh, this looks like a letter from someone. From Sarah Shearer. Sarah Shearer. Her names sound the same, don't they? And she lives in Wellington. And it says to Chatterbox, I watch you when I'm off school. Oh, because Sarah wasn't well one day, so when she was home, she watched the program. And she sent us in a letter. What a very good idea. Oh, thank you very much for that, Sarah. We love getting your letters and your drawings here at the library. Well, I wonder whether Thingy's found any apples for the ponies at the Pony Club. You know, ponies eat apples in one bite. <gasps> Ooh. Gone. Come on, Molly, let's get moving. <laughs> Okay everyone, today we're going to do a follow the leader game and we're all going to have numbers for this game so we're going to start with Sophie One, two, three, four Good, now for this uh, obstacle course we're going to go round the poles over the bridge, through the wood, over the jump then we're going to go over the stepping stones and we're going to try and get an apple out of the bucket for our ponies. Okay? Good. Off we go. Number one. Thank you. 
back at the library! Yeah, giddy up there, Moor. <laughs> I'm just pretending that our Moor is my horse. Giddy up, giddy up. You've got to be careful when you're riding a horse, don't you? Did you see what the children were wearing when they were riding a horse? They were wearing something special on their heads, something a little bit like what you wear if you're riding on your bicycle. It was a helmet, a special helmet, though, that they wear when they're riding horses. I was thinking of a little song that I could sing with you about riding on a horse. You could pretend that a chair is a horse, but make sure you're sitting on it properly and safely so that you don't fall off. And now we can sing our song. Yeah, giddy up there, Moor. I'm sitting up here, riding my moor. Sitting up here, riding my moor. I'm sitting up here, riding my moor. Looking at the playground. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I hope you pretended that you were riding on your horse at home too. There was something else that they put their feet into on the horses. Do you remember what that was called? Well, we haven't got any here on our moor, but they put their feet into some stirrups. That's so they could balance on the horse. And they were sitting on something called a saddle. That's so their bottom wouldn't get too sore when they're riding up and down. Now it's time for a story about a grandma who climbed up a tree. Well, I hope she doesn't fall down. Please come down, grandma. It was Grandma's birthday, but Grandma wasn't there. Where was Grandma? We looked for Grandma in all the rooms round the house. We looked in the bedroom, and in the kitchen, and even under the table. But Grandma wasn't there. So we went out of the house and looked outside. We looked in the flower bed, and in the vegetable garden, and in the tool shed. We looked everywhere outside, but we couldn't find Grandma. So we asked Max to find Grandma. Where's Grandma, Max? Max wagged his tail and sniffed all around the house. Then he ran outside and sniffed everywhere until he sniffed under the big old gum tree, the big old gum tree in the middle of the lawn. He looked up the tree. Look at that, Max had found Grandma. She was high up the tree, high up in the top branches. Uh, it's your birthday, Grandma, we said. Come down. Mm, no, said Grandma. Come down and blow out the candles, Grandma. The lovely candles on your birthday cake. No, said Grandma. Something must be wrong with Grandma. It was a birthday. She had a lovely birthday cake. We wanted her to blow out the candles. What was wrong with Grandma? Uh, what's wrong, Grandma? we said. Why won't you come down? Thank you for the bed socks, said Grandma, but I won't come down, not until I get a trampoline. Oh, so that was why Grandma was up the big old gum tree. Grandma wanted a trampoline. But Grandma was too old to bounce on a trampoline. Oh, you don't want a trampoline, Grandma, we said. Please come down and blow out the candles. The lovely candles on your birthday cake? Oh, thank you for the hot water bottle, said Grandma. But I really want a trampoline, and I won't come down, never ever come down, until I get one. Dad went to the tool shed and got out the ladder, and we pushed the ladder up high, high into the gum tree, right up to Grandma. Up climbed Mum, higher and higher, right to the top. Come down, Grandma she said. Come down and blow out the candles, the lovely candles on your birthday cake. Thank you for the dressing gown, said Grandma. It was a lovely present, but I really wanted a trampoline, a lovely bouncy trampoline, so I still won't come down. So Mum climbed down the ladder and we talked and we talked and we talked. Then Dad went into the house and made a phone call while Grandma stayed where she was, high in the gum tree. After the phone call, a truck came. Two men got out. They opened up the back of the truck, and out of the back of the truck came a trampoline. The men put the trampoline down. They put it down in the middle of the lawn, 
under the big old gum tree. Happy birthday, Grandma, we said. Here's your trampoline, your lovely bouncy trampoline. Oh, I can see that, said Grandma. I like the bed socks and I like the hot water bottle and I like the dressing gown, but I love the trampoline. So Mum climbed up the ladder again to help Grandma get down. But Grandma didn't use the ladder. She climbed down using the branches all by herself. When she got to the bottom, she got on the, to the trampoline all by herself. And when she got onto the trampoline, she bounced and bounced and bounced. Thank you for the lovely present, said Grandma. Thank you very much. Then she bounced some more, and so did Max. Then at last, Grandma blew out the candles, the lovely candles, on her birthday cake. And that's the end of the story. Do you remember what Grandma said when she was climbing down the tree? Have a look at this picture. There she is. She said, thank you for the hot water bottle. She liked that, didn't she? She liked the dressing gown and she liked the bed socks. But why was she coming down? Remember that? Because she got a trampoline. And she looked pretty happy when she was bouncing up and down on that trampoline, didn't she? Well, I suppose I'd better get down from my moor now. But if he's got some friends coming in soon, I wonder if he's thought of anything to make with them yet. Might go and see if he needs some help. Mm. Mm. Oh, hi there. Hi. You look busy in the recycling box. Yes, I'm trying to think of something to make, but I just can't think of anything. Oh, right, with mm. Karen and Daniel. Mm. There's lots of things in here, but... Well, what have we got in there? Well, I've got some shells. Oh, right, some of those shells we collected at the beach the other day. Yep. So they might be good for something. Yeah. And, oh, look, we've got some buttons in here. All right. That's what we can do. They make a good them. rattly noise, don't they? Yeah. And we've got some shiny paper. And we've also got some old wrapping paper that's been recycled and put back in our box. Yeah, so we've got different sorts of paper. Mm -hmm. And there's, uh, do you know what that is? Oh. That's lovely soft wool. That's that nice must wool. have been left over from that jersey that I made. Mm, maybe. And some material. Oh, and we've got some ribbons too. There's quite a few things yes. in here. Oh, look. Tea teetle. I've got some seeds in here too. I found those outside the other day. Oh, right. Well, that'd be good for a special kind of picture. How about putting all those things together in one picture called a collage. Oh, a collage picture. That's not a bad idea. Mm. We've got some things here that we could stick them down with. That's right. Some We've got some sellotape. And some scissors right, to cut some things up with. Mm -hmm. And how about some glue to stick some things down with? That sounds like a very good idea. Thank you, Annie. I'll That's take okay. those things for now. Have fun. Okay. Have you ever made a collage before? If you've got some paper at your place, you might like to go and get that and make some when Pirapi makes his collage too. And get lots of bits and pieces. Maybe you've got some bits and pieces in your bits and pieces box, like shells and material and things like that. Or maybe you've got some glitter and you could sprinkle that over the top. Or maybe some sand and make a sand collage picture. And get yourself some glue and some scissors so you can cut some things up. Maybe you've got some old magazine pictures at home and you could cut some things up and paste it on a picture and then you could put it on the wall at your place. Do you like drawing? Well, Daniel and Karen here have just done a drawing for me and they're showing me all about it, telling me all about it, aren't you? Yeah. What have we drawn? What was this over here? What did you say that was again? The earth. That's the earth. And what's all this over here? All these squiggly lines. Tell me about that. It's all the cracks on the earth. All the cracks? Oh, right. And what have you drawn over here? Um, a house. A house? And me in the rain. Oh, look, this is, this is you in the rain, was it? Uh-huh. That's an umbrella. And that's the hole. And that's um, a rocket. And that's a TV. Room. I can see. Can you see that TV all day? Isn't that a good aerial? Well, Annie had an idea, and I thought it was quite a good idea too. So I gathered a whole lot of things from our recycling box and I thought that we could make a collage picture using your drawing here. Would you like to do that? 
If you've got some things at home, you could do this too. Do you remember what's in this box? Yeah. Let's see if you can guess. These things make a rattling noise, buttons. Daniel. Buttons. Some buttons, that's right. And this is, you might have it in a jersey, Karen. Any ideas? Wool. Some wool. We've got lots of things in here. And we've got some glue and some scissors and lots of bits of paper and some cellar tape. So how about we get to sticking some of this stuff onto the paper? Would you like to do that? Yeah. Onto our drawing? Okay. Well, we'll grab some scissors out. We could, maybe we could use some paper. Would you like to use some of that paper? Here's some scissors. Yeah. I think that would look really nice on your house, Karen. I wonder what we could put on the planet Earth. Yeah. I wonder what we could put on the planet Earth. Oh, we've got some shells in here. Maybe we could use some of that. Let's see. Do you need some scissors? Oh, you got some scissors. Okay. All right. What are you sticking down there, Daniel? Button. A button. Okay. Let's see. Most of the shell now. Mm, because there's lots of beaches on the planet here, isn't it? Yeah. That makes a great sound, doesn't it? Doesn't that make a good sound? Yeah. Can you make that sound again, Karen? Come on, I'll make that sound again. Listen, you listen, you listen too. Hey. What does that sound like? Thunder. Thunder. Maybe thunder on the. Maybe that's what caused all the cracks on your planet Earth. You think that might be the case? Could be, couldn't it? Yeah. Right, how shall we stick that down? Let's see. Yeah, hold it down for right. There we go. Yeah. Very busy in here. What are you making? Collage picture. Ah, we use right. that idea that you had before. Yeah, the collage mm -hmm. picture. Well, it's looking really good. Different coloured pieces of paper and all sorts of things to put on it. Those shells look lovely too, don't they? Right now, how about we sing a goodbye song? Would you like to do that? I can hear the music. Are mm -hmm. you ready? Ready? Let's have a smiley face and clap our hands. Ready to clap? Back and back and clap our hands. Let's have a hug, chatterbox. I have my friends a hug this time. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. Come on.